checking into the community fridge. The fridge is very empty, needs a clean. Shelves are empty and the deep freeze is empty. All right, let's give it a clean up and fill it up. I always carry a pack of antibacterial wet wipes in the car and I use them to clean up the fridge when it's dirty. I wipe down the shelves with the wet wipes. For some reason, today the food seemed to be really stuck on and it was hard to get off. These bins have so much stuck on food. These wet wipes aren't really cutting it. I'll do the best I can today. Oh, here comes a garbage truck. <laughs> garbage truck passing. Once the truck went by, I continued cleaning. So this is the best I think I can do for now, getting these drawers clean, but we'll keep trying. I spent a little bit more time trying to get those drawers clean, wiped a few more areas of the fridge, and then I was done. It's all clean, now let's fill it up. I have all this bread to donate today and more. Usually we pick up bread from a bakery one night a week, and last night we got 10 bags like this full of bread. So I kept this one to bring here today. I loaded the bread into the fridge and I put some in the freezer also. It will keep longer in the freezer. I even put some in the deep freeze. And then I put some of my last stash items on the shelves. There's some pet food there and then some shelf stable items. Coffee is an expensive item. We almost never see it donated and lots of people like to drink it. So I love it when I'm able to leave coffee in the pantry. Another one of my favorite things to donate, menstrual products, yeah! Then I put everything else on the shelves. And here it is all full with food from the stash. Let's take a closer look. We've got some tuna in here. We've got a can opener. We have some coffee. We've got tofu, granola bars, scalloped potatoes, canned soups. Down here we have cat food and dog food. We've got menstrual products. We've got canned tomatoes, pasta, pasta sauce, some pesto in there, and then some oatmeal, yeah. 